Born December 8, 1916 in Martins Ferry, Ohio, my great uncle, Tom Murphy, was the middle child, three older sisters, two younger, making him the only boy in the family. The son of a steel worker, he remembers the day he left the valley. My father was superintendent of the yard mill works of the Wheeling Steel Corporation until 1934. And it was fired. And the thing read, for reasons well known to yourself, your services are no longer required. From there, he moved to Cumberland, Maryland, where he learned to fly and then later joined the Army Air Force. Then came a day he won't ever forget. Day, June 6, 1944. You know, we, you know, we knew we had to get into the, into the battle, and we just didn't know what was ahead of us. Uncle Tom was the co-pilot of a glider plane. It was dark out, they could barely see, and his crew didn't make it far on their mission. We crashed at about 11 o'clock at night. And something they didn't tell us, they said we went into hedgerow country. Well, the hedgerows were on top of mountains of earth about eight feet tall. I was trapped in a plane, and the other, the other pilot, I called for him to give me a hand to pull me out of there. And he pulled me out on the ground until I thought I saw him. It's the sounds he heard for those 17 hours, men being murdered in Normandy, that he remembers. You could tell with the, the Tommy gun you heard, or some foreign brain gun maybe, the, the British and Germans used. You could separate those sounds. To this day, can you still hear those sounds in your in your mind? Awarded the Purple Heart and Air Medal. At age 96, he's now legally blind, but he knows his way around. He's since retired and has outlived all of his siblings, his wife, and a son. But for my Uncle Tom, he's a fighter. And we'll never forget D-Day, June 6, 1944. With a News 9 special assignment, I'm Philip Stahl.